shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon. You shall see your Lord. The comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah. You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon. No one will be fighting. No one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna Wazyada. And they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, Yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, Oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, and what could we want more than this, O Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet said. وَهَذِهِ الزِّيَادَ This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا تُنْفِقُونَ إِلَّا ابْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ اللَّهِ You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money في سبيل الله to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being patient. They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as Dhul Jalali Wal Ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. Jalal means magnificence. And ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. Anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa asked to see. But Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. After Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim, very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasul Allah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Noor anna ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor, anna ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? 
What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet ﷺ explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see, for us, the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelopes the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty and what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet sallallahu said, hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. Law kashafahu, if he were to lift that hijab, the rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty, the radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya and what is his veil his veil itself is light so when our prophet went up all the way to isra wal mi'raj he saw the veil of allah so when abu dhar asked him what did you see did you see allah he said noor anna ara there was the light You will realize that the greatness is for the Almighty Allah. The Almighty Allah is saying, Ya Ibadi, kullukum dalun illa man hadaytu fastahduni. O my servants, you were all astray except for the one I have guarded. Ask me for guidance. I will guide, I will guide you. Ya Ibadi, kullukum ja'ayun illa man atamtu fastahdimuni udimkum. O my servants, you were all hungry except for the one I have fed. Ask me for food. I will give you food. Ya Ibadi, kullukum arin illa man gasoutu fastahduni astakum. O my servants, you were all naked. Naked, except for the one I have clothed. Ask me for clothes, I will clothe you. Ya ibadi, inna kum tukhdi'una bil layli wal nahar, wa la afiru zanuba jami'a, fa astaghfiruni afir lakum. O my servants, you all sin, you sin, you sin by day, you sin by night. Sin. I am the Almighty Allah. I forgive all sins. Ask me forgiveness. I will forgive you. Ya ibadi, law anna awwalakum, wa akhirakum, wa insakum, wa jinnakum, kanu ala abjal qalbi wahidin minkum, ma nakasa, zalik fi mulki shay'ah. O my servants, if all the creation that I ever created, the man, the man, the men from amongst you, the first, the last, the jinn kind from amongst you, the first, the last, if they were to become like the most evil man amongst you, that would not decrease my kingdom in anything. Ya ibadi, Oh my servants, if every one of you, the first of you, the last of you, the humankind from amongst you, the jinn kind from amongst you, if you all became muttaqis, if you all became like the like the walis and you became the awliya of Allah, you became like the most pious man from amongst you, that would not increase my kingdom in anything. Ya ibadi, law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum. وجنكم قاموا في سعيد واحد فسألوني فأعطيت كل إنسان المسألة ما نكس ذلك مما عندي إلا كما ينقص المثيط إذا أدخل البحر أو ما people if every one of you that I've ever created the first from amongst you the last from amongst you the human kind from amongst you the jinn kind from amongst you if you were to stand on a flat white plain and then each and every one of you were to ask me for something were to beg for something you ask for a helicopter the second ask for something else the third ask for something else and I fulfill every quest that you ever that you ask me for that would not decrease what I have uh, with me to, uh, more than, than the eye of a needle decreases the sea when it is put inside it when Abu, Adi, Abu Idris would read this hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he would fall flat on his knees because this hadith clearly suggests that the greatness of the Almighty Allah and when you ponder over this you realize that greatness belongs to the Almighty Allah and Allah alone this is the reality of our Creator. Who do you love the most? 
داود علیہ السلام آسط اللہ واللہ which of your slaves do you love the most لَسِسْ تَقِيُّ الْقَلْبِ نَقِيُّ الْكَفْتَيْنِ لَا يَأْتِي أَحَدًا بِسُو وَلَا يَمْشِي بِالنَّمِيمَةِ تزول الجبال ولا يزول أحبني وأحب من يحبني وحببني إلى الناس عجيب لسيز دوز ماي لاف دي دوز إن وزهات إز ماي تقوى ماي فيا ريلائنس أونلي أن الله موتيفيتد أونلي تو بليز الله دي دون ستريش دي هانز آو تو اني ون بسائز الله دي دون هام الله سكريشن دي دون كاري تيلز دي ريمين فرم أن الوبيدينس أب الله مونتنز ويل موف دي ويل نات موف Then Allah says, they love me, they love me, they love those who love me, and they make me beloved in the hearts of men. Rahud alayhi salam says, إِنِّي أُحِبُّك وَأُحِبُّ مَنْ يُحِبُّك فَكَيْفَ أُحَبِّبُكَ إِلَى النَّاسِ Wallah, I love you. I love those that love you. I want to become your beloved. How can I make mankind love you? How can I make mankind love you? Allah Ta'ala tells him, ذَكِّرْهُمْ بِآلَائِ وَنَامَائِ وَبَلَائِ O Dawood, go from person to person. Go from 